Hey there! How did you wake up this morning? Happy? Sad? Bloated? Don't worry, we've all been there. Truthfully, if I started naming the foods that make me bloated, we'd be here all day. It's one of the most common gastric problems out there. Although there's no standard way to define and measure bloating, one can describe it as a state of tension and increased pressure in the abdomen coupled with excessive gas. While bloating is no fun, there is a difference between what causes facial and stomach bloating. Today, Bestie will tell you why you might experience bloating and some simple hacks to deal with it. So let's start with facial bloating or puffiness. Facial bloat. We've all stood in front of the mirror in the morning looking like an inflated balloon. Facial bloating is the puffiness you usually see on your face when you wake up. You have gravity to thank for that. Since you were just sleeping, the bloating could be your face readjusting to the pressure. Besides that, there are two major reasons for that morning moon face look. Number one, dehydration. It's a common belief that drinking too much water can make you puff up. Ever hear of water retention? While that can happen, it's probably not the cause of your morning facial puffiness. In fact, it's kind of the opposite. When the body is left with very little water, like any other smart machine, it tries to preserve what's left. This retention usually starts in the face. If you tend to sleep without any water breaks, it's common to get mildly dehydrated and wake up with facial bloating. To preserve the water, the body first tries to reduce the excretion of water in the form of urine. Instead of throwing water outside the body, it is reabsorbed. In addition to that, with this buildup of fluid in the tissue, blood vessels become enlarged, which gives you that swollen face look. Even though water retention might sound like a perfect plan, it isn't. Less water output leads to less removal of water-soluble waste compounds like urea, which leads us to the second reason for face bloating. Number two, sodium buildup. Sodium is the second biggest culprit for your baggy face. Our regular diet is plagued with high levels of sodium, but don't jump to conclusions and start using a low salt diet straight away. In fact, the problem is not salt at all. Sodium is highly osmotic, which basically means that it needs water along with it to keep the osmotic pressure in check. In a healthy individual, this property of sodium is kept under control by two means. One, by excretion of excessive sodium by the kidneys, and two, by balancing ions like potassium and magnesium. If these counteracting ions are present in a low amount, sodium becomes unopposed. This unopposed sodium in the form of iodized salt is the real issue. Sodium in this form draws more water in the bloodstream and increases the volume of body fluids, which then puts more pressure on blood vessels. The best way to deal with it is to start using Himalayan salt instead of iodized, as it contains minerals other than sodium as well. You can also flush the sodium by increasing your potassium intake. For regular adults, an intake of about 3,000 milligrams of potassium is recommended daily. Potassium controls the effects sodium has on the body and relaxes the blood vessels. You're probably wondering about the ways you can shoot up these potassium levels in your diet. So, we have a simple hack for you. A commonly available kitchen ingredient called cream of tartar may be your best source for potassium. Also called potassium hydrogen tartrate, it can provide a bioavailable form of potassium. So go for a teaspoon of cream of tartar in a glass of water rather than potassium supplements. Just a spoonful will be enough to give you about 495 milligrams of potassium. Pretty amazing, right? Now let's move on to what causes stomach bloating. Stomach bloating. Stomach bloating has different causes than face bloating. It generally happens when there's an overgrowth of bacteria in the large intestine or if your colon flora is having difficulty breaking down certain foods. A clean colon is a must to avoid the accumulation of gas in your gastrointestinal tract. The best part is, it's pretty simple to do colon cleansing naturally by using some easy home remedies. These remedies usually need some easily accessible ingredients and can be made part of your daily routine. To learn some of these, watch our video on 5 Home Remedies for Natural Colon Cleansing. Let the fun begin! There are some foods that can be hard for your intestinal flora to digest. These foods are usually high in FODMAP, an acronym that stands for fermentable oligosaccharides, disaccharides, monosaccharides, and polyols. 
Examples of such foods are cruciferous vegetables like kale, broccoli, and cabbage. These foods contain high levels of insoluble fibers and sugar called raffinose, for which we have no digestive enzyme. In the absence of this alpha-galactosidase enzyme, which is required for breaking raffinose, it just passes through the digestive tract unbroken. Once undigested molecules like these land in the colon, they are fermented by bacteria there. This releases much hated gas, which contains hydrogen as well as methane. So what's the best way to deal with it? Cooking food can definitely break down some complex fibers, but complex saccharides like raffinose remain unaffected. So the best thing to do is to ferment such foods before using them, and it's easy to do. All you have to do is make a brine solution. Take about half a gallon of water and add three to six tablespoons of good sodium salt like Himalayan salt, along with two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar in it. Submerge your broccoli and other cruciferous vegetables in this solution for about 48 hours. This will initiate the fermentation process to break down the troublesome raffinose. Fermentation will pre-digest any other complex sugars as well and will provide the body with probiotic microorganisms. This way, you'll be able to get ahead of those foods that may cause uncomfortable bloating before you eat them. Consider these tips and tricks so that next time, when we ask you how you woke up, your response is flawless. Do you ever deal with bloating? What kind of food bloats your stomach and face the most? Let us know in the comment section below. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie. Wait, what kind of Bestie would we be if we didn't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or the right video and enjoy.